nice and thick when it's concentrated like this. 20% concentrate. This is at a 20% concentrate. Oh, some little particles in there. Nothing major. Tobacco. Tobacco. That's tobacco. <laughs> Friggin' smokers, huh? That's tobacco pieces. I guess it won't ruin the chemistry too much. Hi. Welcome up to Comfort Green. Once again, we're going to do a little bit playing around with some foam here. I, today, uh, well, this week here, I actually made a little bit of foam. It's actually a polyvinyl alcohol. Okay, the raw materials. Synthetic polyvinyl alcohol. And I just mix a little bit of citrus in here so I can have my cross link that I'm looking for. And a few other ingredients I put in here just because. Uh, what I'm trying to do is just maybe trying to make a dry foam today. You know, for my cementaceous materials and other materials. I'll also be used for both types of materials. And I'm going to probably enhance it a little bit more and give you more information as I'm getting more myself. Because it's just a hobby for me. This is not something I'm doing for a living. This is just playing around. But look at the foam. It's actually... Nice and clear, except, you know, I do smoke cigarettes, so I do have a little bit of tobacco in here. But, you know, that's cellular, and, you know, so I guess it's kind of maybe will act as something. Who knows? But anyhow, just in case you want to know what these little particles are floating in here, it's me being a slob in my lab. <laughs> yep, secret ingredient. Secret ingredient is tobacco. Not really. But anyhow. So, that being said, today I'm going to mix up some... What I have mixed up here is basically a salt solution because the citrus acid that I'm using in here is actually going is very compatible to my calcium, so it's going to precipitate my calcium out. Okay, so that's what I'm looking to do with basically precipitating my calcium with the citrus, and that's why the citrus is being attached to the polyvinyl alcohol. Polyvinyl alcohol can do a lot of many things. You can change it. You can do anything you want. You can add to it, subtract to it, blah blah blah. Anyhow. about to say uh, today I'm only gonna put half of this in here of this particular foam in this bucket here to make my foaming agent what I'm trying to achieve right now is a dry bubble so I'm only gonna use half see what it looks like then increase it to see what the difference in textures I'm gonna get so we're gonna kind of have fun a little bit of experiment with both little and less so you can actually see what more uh, basically soap will do to the waters so you get stronger or weaker so I'm probably gonna be on the weaker side so I'm only gonna put half uh, obviously, I'm going to do this scientifically. Uh, there's my half. I started at seven. I'm down, well, a little more. And I'm now at four. So we started near around seven and a half. So we're not quite half, but close enough for me.
Yeah, that's heavy. Alright. Okay. Wow. Hard to clean, isn't it? <laughs> Dunked up in there. It may have been a little too over concentrated. But that's what fun is. Man, she opened a car wash business. Our foam about a half hour later. Still holding up. Let's take a look at the. You can usually see how much of it's collapsed at the bottom, but you gotta remember that dark rim is our foam that has collapsed. But we did a lot of bad foam at the start, so that's not a good test. Go, go uh, show the buckets of last week's. All right, what we have here on our broken porch. This last week's experiment, we actually did this one with cement. So this is the final aircrete product. It's held up very nicely. It's been many hours later, and you can see there's zero shrinkage. Usually if it collapses on the inside, you'll see like a, a cave in, but it hasn't collapsed at all. Uh, this is actually many hours later. It's starting to get dark. And as you can see, the bad stuff at the bottom here is actually piled up quite a bit. All that right here is all the collapse. That's good foam still. We can reuse it for different tests. But you can see the top of this isn't as high as the rim of it. So you know it's all collapsed on the inside. The reason why that's good stuff is because we actually added some of the product we had yesterday into this pail here. I'll probably leave in the description exactly what this is so you guys can know what kind of foam it is.